name na Soko Sholanke, me na the original Creole girl from Salon, uh, not no, the Tomasa Joss no more. I'm here to introduce Dr. and Jackery Damages. Woo! Welcome to the show, welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City! Yes, yes. yes. New York City is so great that we are selling off Cola mm. Alocos, 50.9 million dollars apartment hey! did, did you hear the story uh, we are yes, oh yeah yes. we we don't play in new york city <laughs> we are selling it off yes, yes. nigeria's playboy kola loco mm -hmm. has not paid his bills in months hey. he has not paid his maintenance uh, fees he has not paid his, <laughs> his 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 mortgage he has not paid his taxes hey. or oh, oh, taxes we don't play with taxes in new york city. <laughs> yes, uh, no we don't we don't play we can play with anything yeah, but yeah, not yeah. taxes the foreclosure is called the biggest residential foreclosure in New York City history. Yes, yes. The biggest, 50 million. Hmm. The man is gone. The man is finished. Is it done? Kola's apartment is in a luxury skyscraper called 157. Ah. You get on Park Avenue over there, the over there. The you know the building. Yeah? <laughs> you used to clean up the building before. <laughs> An apartment there, a full floor apartment there, sold for 100.5 million dollars just a few years ago. That was where your brother used to own a 50.9 million dollar <laughs> apartment. Before running to foreclosure. How, how much is your apartment? You're laughing. How much is your apartment? <laughs> One million dollars. <laughs> now, Kola, for those who do not know, is a friend of Jay-Z, Beyonce, Naomi Campbell, and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. These are his friends. But in New York City, we mm. don't care. Yes, we don't care. If you don't pay your bills, you forfeit your house. Exactly. That's how it is, you know? We don't care. So. I'm sure, I'm sure that Kola Aluko did not run to his uh, famous friend for help. <laughs> he, I, I'm sure he didn't. Yeah, if, he, if he did, if he did, they would have said to him the same thing my homeboys <laughs> in Brooklyn said to me. Yes. Nigga, go and take care of your business. Ah! <laughs> That's it. They don't no, care. No, the they don't care. Yeah, they don't care. Even Kola Aluko's 213 foot yacht, hmm. the Latika Star, I know you've never been in one. <laughs> it's also a target of seizure. They want to seize the ten. What? Yeah, that is the boat. The, the, the boat that the boat that he rented to Jay Z and uh, Beyonce for nine hundred thousand dollars for a week. Hey. A week. Now, see, die, since the government of Nigeria, they've been looking for him. He's been sleeping inside the boat, in and off the boat. <laughs> he can't. He can't step on the ground. You know, they're they're looking for him. They're looking for him now. The sign that Aluko was in trouble has been clear for a while. Mm. Last year, he sold his $14.7 million mm. Beverly Hill, California house mm. that he bought in 2012 for 13 million. Wow! Hey. Do, do, you, do, you know, do you know? Yeah, do you know how much money he lost? He also sold an apartment on Fifth Avenue over there. Uh, yeah, right yeah, over there, over there. That he purchased, he sold it below price, the, the cost price. No. That's, that's a sign of trouble. <laughs> just, just so you know, you know, the millions and millions that I've been talking about, mm. it's your money. It's, it's your money. It's your money. You, 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 it's your money. Mm. Aluko is a friend and a business partner of Nigeria's former Minister of uh, Petroleum. No. Uh, no. Alice, no. No. You remember her? You remember her? You remember her? Former President Jonathan's uh, sweet Brent, mm. you know, you know, you know. These are the women that when Jonathan sees, and he will do that his famous handshake, you know. <laughs> that, that's the, and then after that he will do the, this one. Ah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Anyway, anyway, Aluko and the Zani Madeke together are mm. accused of stealing over 1.7 billion dollars. <laughs> From Nigeria's oil proceeds, wow. 1.7 billion dollars. Mm. Now I will pause for for that one to sink in. One point, I'm not making it up. It's in New York Post newspaper, not even in Sahara. I'm not making it up. I'm not making it. 1.7 billion dollars. Now. Let me pause again for you to die. Is either you should knock yourself back to consciousness because your brain traveled, or knock stupidity out of your head. Me knock off the stupidity in my in my head. What what are you doing in America? Oh, yeah. eh? 1.7 billion dollars. Well Nonsense. In all these transactions, Aluko probably lost tens of millions of dollars. Mm. Now here is about Portacot Road yesterday. Just look at look at it. Look at the road. Wow. This this is it. This is it. With this a few a few millions, that mm. road will have been fixed for the people where they get this oil. Mm. But where is the money? It's in the pockets of people like Aluko and Deziani. Mm. Look, at, look at the road. 
the likes of Alukandeziani, they use the money to buy penthouses in big cities all across the world. Wow. Now they can't afford so to pay. Sad. They can't steal money more. They can't afford to pay more. Imagine. Yeah, they can't afford to pay. Now the houses are being foreclosed. Mm. All the money they put in there, lost. Mm. Wow. Yeah, meanwhile, meanwhile, what do we do? What do we do? What are we doing about all these things? Mm. We are busy doing what this little girl has been doing. Mm. What? The Lord, no, my shepherd, I did come pay. He let me sit down for a while beside the floor. Uh, I know, I know. We're just praying. I did can't pay. I did can't pay. No, that's not what we're doing. You know, we're not taking any action. How do you think something will change? Those of us who are not busy praying are busy in doing this. Uh, I know, I know. That's that's it. That's it. We're just basically wasting our lives and these people are stealing all the resources we have. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 this is the bottom line. Baba, baba. A nation that has more than 5.7% of the world mineral deposits and people are suffering. Some people think Nigeria belongs to them. But Nigeria belongs to all. God will destroy all of them. Nigeria is the most backward society in the world. Ah. <laughs> I know, I know. Nigeria is the most backward country in the world. Yes, yes, I agree to that. Yeah. Yeah, indifference. We are indifferent. We don't care. Corruption is a problem for Nigeria. Mm. But it's not just Nigeria only. Yes. The problem is all across Africa. Yes. Even in Sierra Leone. <laughs> Corruption has a green card in yes. Africa. Mm. In Kenya, the election is coming up in August. Yes. And yes. corruption has taken the front and back center of everything. Hey. It's all about corruption. Mm. If the National Super Alliance candidate, Odinga, obsessed the president, Uhuru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. in the August 8th election, you know Dr. Damage yes, will be there, yes. it will be a proof that corruption must have played a role. Mm. If there's an upset, I'm telling you, mm. you will never believe this. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, politicians are asked to please, please, steal a little. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what they do in Kenya. They are begging them. Uh, I'm, I think I'm making it up. Look at the headline from New York Times. Wow. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the corruption in Kenya is what we call in Nigeria stealing. <laughs> Here are the items that politicians in Kenya they are caught stealing. Listen to this. Some wow. politicians we are caught spending thousands of dollars, thousands of buying condom dispensers. What? That's 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 the story. Then then they bought pen, eighty five dollars each for their staff. What? In Kenya, yeah. <laughs> and they are some. Uh, they are not kidding in Nairobi. They, they, they are serious about their stealing. Mm. One politician was accused of poaching wild animals. Mm. They do everything. Another one went and took over the playgrounds of schools to build houses. Wow. <laughs> this is what you should learn from Nigeria. You know, this should learn from. Yeah, yeah, they they, yeah. they, they embarrass us. You know, the kind of. They do it first time. Yeah. Ah. What? Yeah. Do you have a land there? Yeah. <laughs> now, now. Listen to Professor Lumumba talk about the difference between Tanzania mm. and the government, how they manage their resources yes. and other African countries. And if you ask them what is the extraction of your fifth president, John Pombe Magufuli, they do not know and they do not care. They only know that he's a bulldozer. Now, Professor Lumumba told his audience how ethnicity in Tanzania is different from ethnicity in Kenya. If you ask Tanzanians what was the ethnic extraction of the second president of Tanzania, Mze Ali Hassan Mwinyi, the Tanzanians do not know and they do not care because it does not matter. Wow. I know, I know. I mean, the Nigerians can learn something from that. <laughs> now, listen to what he said about talking about his own country, the difference between Tanzania and Kenya. What? You ask the leaders from my own ethnic group, the Luo of Kenya, the Luo will tell you we have been marginalized for too long. The time has come that God must smile upon us. And now, now, here is Professor's submission on what Kenyan politicians need to do to get close to what is available in Tanzania. Watch. I'm submitting to us that the country called Kenya needs to come to Tanzania here on a benchmarking tour and that the president of the Republic of Kenya and all our parliamentarians should sit at the State House and be lectured by John Pompe Magufuli on the finer points of governance. Wow. 
I know, I know, I know. This is wonderful, this is wonderful, because people don't know the differences in these African countries, how that implies and what it means for countries like Nigeria. Now, as expected, Professor Pio Lumumba took a swipe at Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> they, they always want to take on Nigeria. Hey. Like, listen to what he said. Right now in Nigeria, the evils want to secede, and they are being warned by the Yorubas and the Northerners there is need for political hygiene. Wow. I know, I know. He saw, he's following the news in Nigeria about these people, baby, Igbo people trying to leave the country. You know, L listen to what he said. Listen again. Right now in Nigeria, the Igbos want to secede. And they are being warned by the Yorubas and the Northerners. There is need for political hygiene. Are you not surprised? Yes. The, man, the man knows what's going on. Wow. That reminds me. So how is the Biafran agitation? How is it going? <laughs> How is it going? Oh. Be believe me, it's a weekly thing now. You know, the countdown to October 1 is, mm. is on. Yes. Uh, the, your family are there back. Oh. <laughs> it's on, it's on. It, it don't pass for you. It don't pass you. <laughs> you are finished. <laughs> if you have not you yeah, moved them on, you have to move them. No, the countdown is on. The quick notice mm. is going on. Now, as we speak, Last well, week, we don't want leave, you don't want to leave. <laughs> they, they're not asking you for your opinion. Last week, Namdi Kano continued his wide consultation across Igbo land and across the south south. <laughs> bell condition. Ah, there's no more bell and no more condition. Here he is after a meeting with Dr. Ikedife in Inerwe. Watch. <laughs> Look at and, and, and here he is in Portacot after meeting uh, what's his name? Dokubo. Is that not your brother? Dokubo. Oh, Dokubo, Dokubo. yeah. Dokubo. Watch. Watch. <laughs> so, so if you are if you are the federal government of Nigeria, what are you going to do? The journey is out of the bottle. The toothpaste is out of the tube. Hey! Have you tried to put back toothpaste that came out of the tube? <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's, that's the dilemma. You know, in an interview with a foreign journalist, it was clear that Nnamdi Kano that went to prison mm -hmm. is still the same one that came out almost hey! two years after. No change. No change. Hey! Listen to him. Do you think you were treated in a fair way by the government? Or rather also by the justice system? No, not fairly, because... Nigeria is not a civilized country. People behave like animals. They are not reasonable enough. They are not disciplined enough. Ah. No change. No change. He said, and this is this funny. He said that Jonathan was incompetent. <laughs> that Mama Peace would have been a better president. Wow. Did, did you see that headline? That I said, damn. Yeah, no, he no. threw our Otoke man under the bus. Hey. I, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, Governor Fireshare will not be happy about that. Ah. Femi Fanny Karide will not be happy about it. Ah. And I think Namdi is just breaking his bridges. Mm. You know what I mean? He's burning the bridges. He's burning it down. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the rest of the country is reacting. Mm. Everybody, there's something we're doing in Nigeria now. Either we're thinking, where is Buhari? Is he dead or alive? Or what did Namdi say or do? Mm. Now, former governor of Kano State, you know him, Senator Pankwazo. Uh, yeah, yeah. He told Namdi last week to shun Biafra hey. and run for president in 2019. Ah. You know, you know, you know, that, that could happen. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not something that's uh, impossible. It could happen. And I tell you, it could only happen after Majek Fashek shuns Ibo and Weed <laughs> and becomes a pastor. That's when it will happen. Once that happens, you know that Namdi is going to run for president. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but if it doesn't happen, forget about it. Now, from Mina, Niger State, mm. the former president, military president, and one time, um, what is he called? He called himself um, Evil Genius. Hey, <laughs> Evil, yeah, Evil, Marana. Marana. Evil Genius. He was quoted to have said, and I quote, time to restructure Nigeria has come. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> time to, oh, yeah. You got it. Time to restructure Nigeria has come. I said, get out right, right here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Get in Ibu. But what changed? What changed? How did, how did he turn around? I, I will tell you. The man is in the final uh, lap of uh, yeah. the, the, the rest to heaven. Yeah. He's trying to make heaven, that's all. Yeah. 
he, you know, his legs are gone and his everything is going. He, he's just trying to see if they will allow him. <laughs> there's no hope. I don't think there's any hope for him. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the Anambra State-based political party, Abga, mm -hmm. has written Namde Kanu to warn him to desist from making pronouncements mm -hmm. about elections in Anambra State. Yes, <laughs> you know, you know, Namdi said that he vowed, not that he said, he vowed mm. that there will not be election in Anambra State wow. on November 18th. Mm. Unless, unless, big unless, Nigeria gives him first, gives him a date for a referendum for Biafra. Mm. <laughs> now, uh, uh, so Abga, they, they wrote him a letter, and in the letter they just said, look, look, my man, stop, stop saying anything about Anambra State. Stop. This is what they, I quote. This is what they say in the letter. In the letter, they said they want Namdi not to think himself as Igbo emperor. Mm. <laughs> wow. I'm like, no, they did not go there. <laughs> 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 they did not go. Didn't Abga know that Namdi is a son of a king? Mm. Haven't they seen that um, the, the way he's treated anywhere he goes? Yes. They, they, can they get a, a, a people bow yes. for the man? The, the truth is that it's too late. <laughs> it's too late to stop him. The crown is unrefundable. Yes, exactly. He cannot refund it. You know, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's I know, over. I know what you, I know what you are thinking. Uh -huh. What happened? Why didn't I talk about President Trump? Yes. Oh, yeah. eh? I just jumped into Africa and Nigeria. Why? I, I turned everything upside down. What happened? No, no, no. It wasn't the crap that people write for me. No, no, it's, that wasn't the problem. No, I saw. What is it? I, I will tell them. I saw. I saw something that touched me this week. Something that made me feel so bad that the great American president mm. is being treated this way. Mm. The man is obviously the most abused politician in the world. Oh. Watch for yourself. Wow. That's it. When I saw them kicking on the butt of our president, I gave up. I said, I'm not part of this. I, I'm not part of this. No more. No more. How can they do the president of the United States? You're kicking his butt. Mm. I'm out. Wow. <laughs> show that again. Show that. Hey, hey, hey. Sasha, show that. Show that in the. <laughs> ah, oh, Lord. <laughs> he will be mad. He will be mad. I'm telling you. Meanwhile, meanwhile, from the Vatican, Pope Francis, you know he's our favorite Pope. Yes. We love Pope Francis. He kicked the butts of Catholic priests in Imo State. What? Something must have happened that made him so mad that he kicked their butts. Since 2012, these priests refused to accept the bishop that was posted to them. Mm. Oh, yeah. The, the former Pope appointed a bishop for the Diocese of Ahera in Imo State. Mm -hmm. And they refused to accept him. Wow. Oh yeah, they said no, we don't want him. And guess what? He's not from Rwanda. I see. No, he's from Anambra State. That state near the equator between Biafra and Nigeria. You know this state? <laughs> <laughs> he's from there. And they said they don't oh, want him. No. Watch. Lauren, during the audience, the Pope requested simply that the diocese receive Bishop Okpaleska. And Pope Francis asked that every priest in the diocese, whether he resides there, works elsewhere, even priests that are from that diocese who work abroad, he wants them to write a letter of apology personally to Pope Francis asking for forgiveness for their disobedience. Ah. The Pope gave them, the priests, all of them, 30 days to write a letter of apology ah. or be fired. The Pope added, whoever fails to do this within 30 days is ipso facto, which means by the very fact, suspended from any all divine things such as the celebration of the sacraments. So wow, and I know, I know if they are fired, they go and marry. <laughs> and that's not a joke. The Pope is not joking. The Pope is not playing. Mm, not he considered dissolving the whole diocese. Mm. Imagine it into another big one. But, but he changed his mind. This time he was mad. He was as mad as the day that Trump visited him. <laughs> now, now, I know what some of you are thinking. You are now, you are now thinking that you are drawing conclusions. You are saying, uh, uh, you are thinking that these are the same people who want to be Afra. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they can't even be together. Mm -hmm. They can't even allow a bishop from, from Anambra to be the bishop in Imo State. Yes. Bad boys. <laughs> you all are bad boys. But yes. remember, 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 when the premise of an argument is wrong, mm -hmm. the conclusion is also, also wrong. wrong. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Your premise is wrong and your conclusion is wrong. Yes. <laughs> now, now, this is what we call Twitter tones. Mm. You know, we look at tweets that people are sending out, mm. famous people, and then we react to that. Now, the tweet you are looking at is that of uh, Senator Ben Bruce. You know him? The, the internet, the internet the senator. Yeah. The common sense senator. <laughs> common sense senator. Yeah. He look at what he said in the tweet. Nigeria can only become wealthy mm. when we identify the thing that we can do better than any other nation. Mm. 
and that thing isn't to drill or sell oil. Yeah. That's what the senator is saying, yeah. that we have to identify no, what, what, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. So, so this is my reaction. Dear internet senator, mm. we pay our senators more than any other nation on earth. Mm. How do we translate that into wealth? <laughs> It's been a week, he hasn't answered. It's been a week, the man has, he has not answered. He has not answered us. Here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. Internet constitutes great threat to Nigeria's survival, says the vice president. Have you heard anything like that? I'm sure either the man has started smoking something or, or, or that the evil spirit in Asorok has gotten hold of him. How can a lawyer say that internet is now the, the most serious threat in Nigeria? How can you? How, exactly. Ezioku. That's, that's, that's my reaction to Ezioku. It's, it makes no sense. Does it start selling telex? There's something wrong somewhere. The, the evil spirits, they're getting to him, obviously. This is from the Senate president. Senate will address all petitions from Nigerians on injustice and corruption. <laughs> no, no, you will laugh more when you know who said this. This is Bukola Saraki. What? But yeah, that's what he said. You know, I know, I know what this man wants. He wants to throw around so much hypocrisy mm -hmm. that he will give all of us post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm. PTSD. PTSD. Hey. Uh, do, do, it looks like you have one. <laughs> Were you not in Biafra during the war? <laughs> We have an ex, ex biafran soldier here. He must, uh, must uh, have a PTSD. Yeah, I from flashback. <laughs> flashback. He's not remember when uh, when he hears uh, Biafra, he remembers when he was in Bush, with uh, and, <laughs> and, and yeah, he's then gone. But Buhari will finish his tenure as president, mm. says the acting president of Shibajo. Mm. You, you know the guy. Yes. You know, you know this acting president. He's a, he's a very good pastor. He prays even when he talks. <laughs> in, in fact, in fact, most of the words coming out of his mouth are prayers. Like that, like that one, you know, that Buhari will finish his tenure. <laughs> it's a prayer now. Yes. It, it cannot be anything else, you know. It's not a statement. Don't take it as a statement of fact. <laughs> That's what we are praying, that he will finish. Because if he doesn't, they will. Ariwa Youth to Oshibanjo, they said, sack NSA and DSS bosses and the IG of police or else we will protest. Mm. Uh -huh. You know the guys, the guys that said that Igbo people should leave the north. Uh -huh. the, 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 those kids, I, I don't understand them, you know? Do they know that El Rufa is looking for them? <laughs> Do they know? How can they be coming, calling press conferences and making statements like this? Yeah. They, I don't think they know. I don't think they know. They don't have any idea that they're being looked for. The no, they don't care, they don't care, anyway. Zamfara State Governor, Abdulaziz Yari, you know him, he's only your friend. He bought a $1 million mansion in Maryland. Wow. Yeah, that's Sahara reporters reporting. Now, mm. now I don't know what's the problem with that, other than the fact that the state has no money to buy vaccines for meningitis. Ah. I, I, there's no, I don't understand the problem. What's wrong with that? Yeah. After all, his house is near where Atiku, Abubakar Atiku has his own house. Mm. Al Jizokalo has his own house. Yeah, these, are, these are important, important mm. Nigerians who dream of being president. Mm. Who knows that that man may be dreaming of being a president? Ah. The, only, the only difference is that Atiku cannot go into his house anymore. Ah. And not just a color, one woman died in the house and he abandoned it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, who knows? Yari will soon have a reason not to come into his house. One million dollars. How much is uh, your apartment where you live? <laughs> this is from Ayo Fayoshe, our February governor. He says, Buhari on life support for 20 days needs prayers. This is Ayo Fayoshe. Yeah, I don't know how, I don't know how he found out. Do you know how he found out? You know, that was so kind of him. That, don't you think so? That was so kind of fire of fire share, you know, mm -hmm. to ask people to pray for the president. You know, but what he did after, after he said that, was what blew people's mind mm -hmm. away. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> Obviously, he didn't mean what he was saying there, you know, he didn't mean that. Now, this is for you, my, my man, I always uh, bring one for you, you know, this, this is for you. The last one is always for you. I still iron my wife's clothes, <laughs> says Pastor Adeboye. Mm. Hey, yeah, uh, you know, he still, no, he, yeah, he irons his, his wife's clothes. He, he was going to say that he still washes the wife's, um, um, Kinika. <laughs> but it was on Sunday, he didn't want to, people were watching, you know, on Sunday. So he said he irons their clothes, you know. 
this is this is a sign of how to be humble. This is, this is when have you humility. cooked? When humility? When have you? When was the last time you cooked for your wife? After life. <laughs> after the wedding. No, after life. Don't forgive me. <laughs> forgive me for hearing this. It's time for your email. <laughs> It's time for your email. It's time for your email. Wow, so much just welcome yeah, back. Thank you. So, you um, welcome me Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, because you, you're different today. <laughs> so, what happened to your uniform? Can you explain to, explain to our people? Doctor, why, why are you wearing black? This is what? the beginning of summer. Mm. People supposed to be happy, show mm. off, you know, what are you, sh what, what happened? Ah, show what, your, show your did, did Trump try to deport you? Show your tell, me, tell, me, tell me, what happened? Why are you wearing black? Doctor, black. I have to tell you offline. Offline, okay. Offline. Offline, okay. <laughs> All right, do we have emails today? Every day, doctor. Okay, let's get it. Please. All right, our first email is from CQ in Amsterdam. Mm. I hope I'm saying it's right, Amsterdam. though. Amsterdam, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amsterdam, <laughs> in Netherlands, you know. Yeah. Red light is yeah. Ah, yeah. Why are you, why are you, you know, why are you know, talking about? No, why are you talking ah, about? This what is, do you know this about that? Kids are watching. Don't, don't hey. talk about this thing. Kids are watching. Hey. When we get up there, hmm. we can talk about it. I've last, been there, by last the way. Time. You've been there? Ah, 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 she was born there. Yeah. Hey. We know what happened. Hey. We know what happened. Hey. Okay, okay. Hey. Next time you go, hey. Bami and Carol hey. or Landy. Ah. 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 All right, all right. Uh, okay, all right. Let's see how it is. All right. He writes, hello, my quad doctor. Wait, wait. And this guy is my friend. And you brought his email to read on my show. All right, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. I'm just reading the email. Okay, then. go ahead. My name is CQ. CQ. No, thank you. I do not need your treatment. Hey. Oh. And you started it. You want to spoil my mood. This one that you are always complaining of Baba ruling from the UK. Mm -hmm. Are you not doing the same thing from the greatest city in the world? Oh. Before I leave, tell me please. Are you with the government? Against or just a realist? Keep up the good work, my man. Ah, I'll offer ah, you three blunts. Ah, ah, wait, 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 what are you? You are a road boy, man. Legalize <laughs> it, and I will advertise it. You know, this is wonderful. Why? Take, take, take note of his uh, phone number and address. Book, book me to the next flight. You know what I mean? Ah. Now, now, for 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 people who are saying, um, does this support the show, uh, the government? Or, I, I I don't care about government. <laughs> you know, I cannot even say I I don't know what. I just diagnose you heal yourself. Yes. yes. So it doesn't matter. I present it the way I say it, mm. irrespective of the person concerned. Mm. So that's the way it is. You know, I don't care whether you're government or not government, whether you are uh, um, yeah, what's his name, Apostle Suleiman. <laughs> where, where is my man? Doctor, you, know, you have to leave that man alone. He worries me that he's not. Ah. He, people will stop going to his church. He should do something. Can't he find another actress? You know? Okay. All right. All right. Next email, please. All right. Our second email is from Engineer Obani. Chukwomeka. Chukwomeka. Look at the way she called him. This is Elenian. I think they, they moved to Nigeria. They don't want to go back to Chukwomeka. You know, better than some Nigerians. From the like Philippines. This one. No, I have a friend with that name. Ah, a friend, quote unquote. You know, she didn't put that quote unquote. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, from the Philippines. From People are watching Philippines. us in the Philippines. I'm telling you. Wow. Okay. Thank you for watching. Yeah. So what, what does he want? Be right. Mm -hmm. Dear Dr. Damage. Yes. I commend you for the good work you this do through your email. show. Email we want. Yes. Mm -hmm. Though. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 <laughs> Whatever it is, but yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> however, <laughs> though. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Though, I'm an Igbo from Imo State. Mm -hmm. And I'm completely against Biafra. Oh, oh, yes. With is, free is money allowed? from the center. Yeah. The Eastern governors can't get their acts right. Mm. And the misguided youth. Think getting Biafra is the panacea yeah. to all their problems. Hey. It will be a mere substitution of slave masters mm. with Nam the Kanu having a god complex. Hey. If those representing area youth can be called youth, then I'm not yet a teenager. Ooh. The problem with Nigeria is laziness. Mm. The last born is producing all the money, and the three elder Agbayas 
Abayasa. Wow. Yeah, Ransom. Keep mm. up the good work. Wow. wow. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. You sound like an engineer. Did he, did he say he's an engineer? Ah. You know, very precise. You know what I mean? I like that. Often, often in life, the, the solution to today's problem mm. constitutes the problem of tomorrow. Ah. Hey. Um, Sasha, Sasha. Tweet that out. Tweet that out. Ah. You know, that's what Woo. I'm saying. But yeah, the, so because he's an engineer, solution best. Hmm. And not people who complain. You know? No action. Ah. Next. All right. Our third email is from IK from Ontario, Canada. Canada. Oh, they're up there. We, up are, there. Going mm -hmm. yeah. we are going places. We are going places. International. Yeah, friend. Ah. Friend. Mm -hmm. He writes. Mm. Hello, Dr. Damisi. I'm a regular fan and viewer of your program, mm. which is the newest entertainment program wow. on around the world, around now the world. in form of news. You Bang. see, I'm telling you, international. Yeah, the man. Yeah, the man. Please, mm. may I inform you, uh -oh. sequel to your recent announcement mm. on Miss Prof... Puff Puff. Puff Puff? Yes, yes. <laughs> I know the, the man has been talking about Puff Puff all the time. Yeah, you know? Puff okay, Puff. please, may I inform you, sequel to your recent announcement mm. on Miss Puff Puff takeover of job belonging to Miss Tomato Joss. Mm. She makes the show sweet, just as you do too. Mm. Your show cannot attract viewers without enough laughter, mm. which, of course, Tomato Joss does well. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, what that's, that's why we're reading this email. Otherwise, we never have it right now. I can see. When she talks mm. and adds that her laughter, mm. it makes me to be happy, ah. even though I might be in a sad mood mm. before coming to watch the show. Mm. I love Tomato Joss, and I'm willing to support your program financially. Wait, 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 wait. Stop making noise. The man is writing an important letter. The man is writing an important letter. This is, this is it. We've been praying for this. Go ahead. The man is writing. This, this is the most important email. I've financially, mm -hmm. as a long as long as mm -hmm. she's there. Oh, you see, that's why it's the whole thing. That is fast. That's why the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait. No, no, but, but he's not finished. He's not finished. Do you know the best news? Okay. Do you know the best? Yeah, what is it? News? Yeah. Plus and Gakri. Ah! <laughs> oh, he's joking. The man is just joking. He's just putting my leg. <laughs> wait, but wait, wait. How do these people know that we are struggling here financially? How do you they, say it all the you, time? Have you been talking behind my back? Ah! Have you been showing your picture? Even if I have, I can't hmm? tell you. Have you been showing? Okay, okay. I'm, uh, okay, okay, don't worry. Tomato Joss is not going anywhere anytime yes, soon. Yes. As long as Donald Trump is president, as long as and her name check. with her name, she it, it's impossible for her to get a job anywhere else. Ah, <laughs> I'm just telling you, you know, ah. Trump and her name mixed together, nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. That's it. Now, uh, next, that, that's it. I think that's oh, it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com and follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages and on Instagram at Dr. Damages. Now, here's my concern for today. It's taken from page 419 of the book, This Thing Called You, mm. by Henry Stanley Hackins. Mm. And it says, Haskin. Haskin. Who wrote that crap? <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Go back. Has kings. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Go back. Go back. Okay. Here's my concern for today. Mm. It's taken from page four one nine mm. of the book called "This Thing Called You" mm. by Henry Stanley Haskins, mm. and it says, "What lies behind us mm. and what lies before us mm. are tiny matters compared to what lies within us." Ah! Oh! I go fast. Mm, yes, that's it. How fast? Yeah, I go very, very fast. <laughs> Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself! Woo! Woo! Mm -hmm. of July, big holiday now. Yeah. Independence Day. Of course. So, we're, we're, and the beach. Where, what, where, where, what beach can they see you? Where, where are we going to see you this, this holiday? <laughs> but I, I'm going to Virginia Beach. She said Lonely Beach, which is in Sierra Leone. Oh, yeah. you know? I'm going to Virginia Beach. So if you are yeah. around Virginia Beach, come and see me. Yeah. Right. Where, where will you be seen? Miami we Beach. Are... South Beach. No, I'm going to Sobe. Come to Tampa. Tampa. Are you going to Tampa? I will be in Sobe. I just ah. want to. <laughs> yeah. You see, they are Sierra Leone people. Yeah. They, they ah. think they can take over the show. Why oh. not? But, oh. but the Nigerians are more. You know. <laughs> Never happened, you know. Nigerians are more. So, uh, I'm so, uh, hey, South Beach. So, South Beach. Beach. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You, you know what happens there? Hey. South 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 South. South. <laughs> That's where you live? Yeah. Wow. I don't know.
<laughs> Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn by the bus. <laughs> anyway, anyway, to so all Americans, happy Independence Day. Happy Independence. See you next week. Yes.